Hi again everyone, this is Dean at My World. Today I'm going to explain why we set up this channel and what you can expect to find here. So, the channel is primarily concerned with three issues. First, the overall aim of the site has been explained in the introductory video. In a nutshell, we're here to help the little guy in the tourist industry get a small slice of the pie that currently is dominated by the much wealthier tourist companies. Our touristic efforts will begin with Uganda for reasons that will become clear shortly. That's an overarching goal. However, we also want to go a little deeper. Here at My World, we believe that all too often the plight of the ordinary man is debated about and explained away by meaningless statistics. Meaningless because they can be manipulated and they're very often anonymous. By that I mean they show nothing of the real people they claim to represent. This is us using visual storytelling as a means for bona fide working people like you and I, wherever we happen to reside on this planet, to communicate directly to each other about our real lives as we experience them with authenticity, stripped of false media representations, government interpreted statistics, or even the dreaded Hollywood treatment. No, this is real people. So basically what my world is doing by giving people the opportunity to produce their own videos and give their own stories is we're giving them the chance to redress those caricatures and those assumptions that are made about them based on anonymous statistics that, that they feel are meaningless to them in their lives. And so that leads me to aim number three, setting an example through positive action or to kind of phrase, putting your money where your mouth is. So, I intend to keep a warts and all video diary of my attempt to lose weight and train for a gorilla trek in the mountains of Uganda. The point of this undertaking is to raise funds for another group of people whose voice is rarely heard. I was introduced to the heartbreaking situation in which children and babies with a condition sickle cell anemia in Uganda find themselves. You see, for me, the plight of these children is synonymous with the concept of the ordinary man having very little voice, because in a country where HIV and AIDS have received particular attention, and quite rightly so, nonetheless, other conditions have necessarily received less support and attention. So I want to make a contribution in my small way to address this. My aim is to support the efforts of an ordinary local Ugandan family who are striving against massive odds to bring a small glimmer of hope and comfort to the lives of those children affected by this often extremely painful and even life-threatening condition. I have set up a Just Giving page, the link to which is both on screen and in the description below. If you feel you would like to contribute in any way, I'd be delighted and I'm sure the kids with sickle cell anemia in Uganda would be overjoyed. But either way, Please enjoy the diary and show me some love by liking, commenting and subscribing to our channel. Something tells me I'm going to need it. Thank you. I know that putting yourself out there isn't easy. In fact, it can be downright terrifying depending on your circumstances. So, I intend to lead by example. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. I have done my best over the years to attempt to give a shoulder to lean on for many different people in many different countries around the world. But I came to the realisation that throwing a finite amount of energy and resources at a problem and then walking away just wasn't the answer. I realised that the only way to make meaningful change was to give people the tools to enable them to achieve that for themselves. 
So with that in mind, I looked around for an opportunity to enable another person who thinks like I do, but hasn't got the resources available to them that I have, through no fault of their own, a leg up, an opportunity to play on a level playing field as far as I can achieve. Or, it might be fairer to say, as far as we can achieve together in equal partnership. By equal partnership, I do appreciate that by being in a position to offer, in this case, financial support, but also advice and the shoulder to lean on when the times get tough. Of course, it isn't an equal relationship in that respect. But what I mean is, giving someone the, the dignity and the respect that they have the local knowledge, they have the skill, they have the drive, and they have, as the word that I keep coming back to, the dignity to carry themselves and achieve these things. That was when I came into contact with an amazing young man in Kampala, Uganda, by the name of Sagawa Regan. I am supporting Sagawa financially with his college fees and his living expenses at the moment, but that's because I strongly believe that everybody has the right to a good education. And I also believe that by supporting someone to have a basic right of a good education, I'm giving him that leg up to put him on a level playing field with me. And that's what I mean by a level playing field. I realise that through no fault of his own, he is not currently playing on a level playing field with me. And therefore I feel justified in supporting him to reach that point. But I can tell you that in every way, Sagawa is very much my equal and beyond. That was because of his experience, he's had to work hard, he's had to support his family, and he's had to deal with things that I would never have to deal with. And in that sense, he surpasses me. But, importantly, we're equals in our approach to the world in many respects and the way that we feel things should be moving forward. We have a shared vision and the way that we have chosen to express that vision is through my world. And if any of our viewers out there would like to try their hand at making their own videos, my mother has done one, you'll be able to see that on the site shortly. It's great fun and we'd be fascinated to see what you want to tell us about yourself. So go ahead, make a video, get in touch with us, we'll be looking forward to seeing you. Thank you.